No one's ever gonna doubt it. Everybody's gonna shout it from the start. Many cat owners can relate to Morris's finicky attitude. You're going to love this, Morris. Not necessarily. Watch now. It certainly captures her personality. I think people enjoy the fantasy cats because they have similar qualities to what they see in their own pets, yet they project the values of humans onto these cats so that if my cat could talk, this is what my cat would say. Time for din, din. Sit tight, Morris. It's the finicky hour. In the past 25 years, there have been three Morrises. Dawn Haney is both trainer and best friend to Morris III. This Morris was rescued from a humane society, as all the Morrises have been. And he was about five years old when he was rescued. So he really is a rags to riches case. He's a lucky kitty. But I knew as soon as I saw him that he was the one. He just had a magical presence, a, a great face. And it turned out, thank goodness, a, a good personality to go along with it. Um, he's finicky, of course, which he really is. But he's also a very nice cat. The sensuality and sex appeal of cats is evident in both film and television. The slinky moves, sly looks, and overall indifference have inspired actors and writers alike. But on television, one of the sexiest cat characters wasn't a cat at all. Wow! <laughs> Eartha Kitt starred as Catwoman on the Batman television series back in the 60s. They gave me the costume, and I wanted it to be as simple as possible. And... There was not m much makeup to do because I had the mask on most of the time. And the times that I didn't have the mask on, the, the makeup was going towards the cat-like look. Because they say I look like a cat. So they just followed my own face lines. But there was not much to be exaggerated about the cat woman. Because the body, they said, was very feminine and very feline and very svelte. So there was not much to do except just be. And that's what I did. I was just be me. <laughs> In the music world, many cats have been the subject of songs, but only a few have been the actual singers. Might not be as big as the Beatles, but the Jingle Cats have made the charts. One day I brought my cats in the studio. I brought Cheese Puff with me, and he started meowing along with the song that I was working on, and I was working on Jingle Bells. I realized that they were really singing different notes, and when they did a meow from coming from a high note down to a lower note, they were usually um, in a diatonic scale, and their meowing was always uh, on key. We found out that cats all over the country were, were clawing at people's speakers, and um, they thought that cats were inside the, their speakers. singer of the Jingle Cats is a cat named Cheese Puff. Cheese Puff was literally found starving in the basement of the apartment building where Mike and Jennifer lived. They took him in, they nursed him back to health, and the rest, as they say, is history. And hey, with the success of the Jingle Cats, Cheese Puff has more than repaid their kindness. It pays to be nice to animals. Back in a moment. <laughs> Now 
on A and E, we return to cats. The independence of cats is legendary. They're considered aloof, indifferent, self-reliant. Any cat owner will tell you a cat does what it wants, when it wants, and there's nothing you can do to change its mind. Well, not necessarily. There's a common perception that cats can't be trained. <laughs> He's just like, uh, okay. yeah. far too independent. They simply don't respond to commands like stay or sit or perform tricks. Never. They're not dogs, after all. Hey, Jazz. Good kitty. Here you go, Jazz. Yes. All right. Well, this general impression is false. Cats can be trained to do, well, just about anything. Door. Around. Go around. Door. 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 That's it. Okay. Mo and Sue DeSesso are professional animal trainers who work with a variety of animals, including cats, and prepare them for acting roles in movies and television. Door. 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 Good. The DeSessos operate a sprawling menagerie near Los Angeles. <laughs> Having worked with just about every kind of animal, they believe that when it comes to training, cats deserve more credit than people tend to give them. They understand what you're saying, they understand key words. They're not really as hard to train as people think they are. It's just that cats are smart enough to sit back and let you think they're not too smart. I'll be in condition when I get through. I'll be in training for you. Training techniques for cats and dogs are very different. Dogs are a pack animal, always communicating with members in their social hierarchy. Dogs can be dominated and respond eagerly to command. Cats, on the other hand, are loners who live life on their terms. Cats respond to suggestions. I'm in training for you. Roger. Go jump. Roger. Up. Up. You can't push him. You can't force them. If they don't like to do it, go on to something else. Go and jump some more. Roger. Go ahead, jump. jump. Oh. Jump. Up. You have to be very, very delicate and kill them with kindness. Good kitty, yes, sir. And baby talk them and, oh, you know, and they hear that and, oh, boy, I did something nice for Daddy. I'm in training for you. I'm in training for you. Oh, boy, that was great. That's great. The personality is not to underestimate them. Karen McElhatton of Studio Animal Services is continually amazed by the sophisticated behavior exhibited by her cats. He's a good boy. And they just are ready for the very next thing as quick as you can dream it up. You know, they're ready to learn it. Kitty, stay, stay, sit, sit, pay attention, pay attention. Patience is the key to training a cat. Each cat must be thought of as an individual, like a child who learns at his own pace. It's a good kitty. One cat might take several days or weeks to learn a behavior. Another cat might learn the same behavior in just minutes. Light. Not all cats are easily trained. It's rare to find a cat like Tiger, who in a brief time span is able to learn a variety of behaviors. Oh, goody kitty. Yes, sir. He did a good job, honey. Yes, sir. Unlike Tiger, most actor cats are specialists inclined to do one behavior extremely well. Like that cat being a natural climber, then we naturally use that one for climbing trees. And uh, the black cat naturally rubs, so we use that one to rub on cue. 